Hey everybody, Mark here at 8-Minute Axe. Today I'm going to review Van Gogh's new 12-string acoustic guitar. Now I did a review of this guitar last year, but Van Gogh has made a few key upgrades, so they sent me a new one to test drive. I do want to mention up front that Van Gogh has supplied me with a guitar to give away every month for the past year, but I'm not a paid spokesperson. Any review that I do will be my honest opinion, for better or worse. I'm going to keep this review quick and straightforward. This is the least expensive 12 string on the market and I have to assume it's going to attract two specific types of buyers. Beginners looking for their first 12 string and seasoned players who want to add a 12 string to their arsenal on the cheap. I'm going to answer a few simple questions. How does it look? How does it play right out of the box? And how does it sound both in the room and plugged in? Yes, this guitar does come with electronics. Van Gogh offers this guitar in four finishes. Black matte, natural, sapele brown, and this new sunburst finish. They've also made a few important upgrades without raising their price point. This guitar is available on Amazon for $189. How does it look and feel? Well, let me briefly go through the specs and give it a quick once over. The back, neck, and sides are made of sapele. The fretboard is made out of walnut. The upgraded bridge is now made out of purple heart and the top is a AAA spruce laminate. The nickel plated tuners are 18 to one ratio and they do hold tune, which is the most important thing. The nut and the saddle are made of bone. That's another upgrade. And the nut and saddle have been cut well. It's really important on a 12 string. You wanna make sure those string sets are set evenly apart. Uh, the pickup has a four band EQ and a volume control. Later on, we'll plug it in and see how that sounds. Overall, it looks and feels good. There's no rattles, no glue stains in the sound hole. Uh, I don't see any blemishes or dings on the body. The frets have been dressed nicely and filed properly. There's no sharp edges, no fret buzz, no choked out notes. Everything seemed to be copacetic up and down the neck. The playability is really good. The action is nice and low. The intonation is perfect. I didn't have to make any adjustments to the truss rod. You can literally just tune her up and start playing, which is should be the expectation of any buyer. Now the most important thing is how does it sound? This is what I did all day yesterday. Just played a bunch of classic 12 string riffs. Let's see how the pickup sounds now. Get that jingle jangle, kind of like the birds or the beetles.
better way to finish off this review than to see if we can get away with playing. I don't even want to say it because that might trip the algorithm. I want to talk about some of the cool stuff that comes with the guitar package. If you're a beginner, this may be the difference maker for you because it comes with a clip-on tuner, a 12-string capo, comes with a patch cable, an extra set of strings, uh, comes with this strap, and it comes with a gig bag, which is great for storing the guitar. It also comes with some extra picks, bridge pins, and a polishing cloth. I think the addition of the clip-on tuner, the capo, and the strap alone make this guitar by far the best value at this price point. If you'd like to win one of these, please take a look at the description below on how to enter this month's contest. That's all I have for today. Please feel free to leave me any questions in the comments section, or you can email me directly at markarenali at gmail.com. If you've made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Most importantly though, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.